Mission Hill is our home. We want to keep it that way. We must be heard. Mission Hill is located in Roxbury, Massachusetts. While it is a community like any other, there are many things that make it unique. There are lots of young smiling faces and places to play such as the Tolman Community Center or various playgrounds and streets. There are residents of many different ethnicities and races such as African American, African, Latino, Caucasian and Asian American. Mission Hill also has a variety of shops and restaurants and modes of transit with two T stations and various bus routes. Let's not forget the many institutions and organizations in the neighborhood, from the smaller community-based organizations where we can earn our first jobs and learn to serve the community, to the larger ones such as hospitals and universities. Within the little three-quarter square mile area that makes up Mission Hill, there is an abundance of people with unique backgrounds and institutions with differing missions. It's of no wonder that within all of this diversity, there also comes a difference in lifestyles and necessities. While Mission Hill is a place that its residents are proud to call home, these differences that exist can often create contentious, sometimes heated, but definitely heartfelt debates about the future of the neighborhood. The expansion of the institutions and the behavior of the student population impact the health, quality of life, and development of Mission Hill. Every fall, new students flood the neighborhood and the population feels like it nearly doubles. Among the ongoing arguments from community members is a sentiment that students trash, disrupt, disrespect, and invade the neighborhood, and that their affiliated institutions fail to consider the impact on the permanent residents. And it's not just one one school or one community. They come from everywhere. And that and right there is the common ground where they use the drugs and they drink at. And I find that to be a problem. One, two, and three o'clock in the morning, you do not want to hear bottles breaking outside. You, you know when people's out there making all that type of noise. More and more families continue to be pushed out as a result of these behaviors and the dramatic increases in rent. We want to ensure that Mission Hill remains a residential community. For us youth, this is where we live and begin to make our mark on the world. Our parents should not have to move in order to provide a safe, clean, affordable, and respectful environment, especially when this used to be the reality for Mission Hill. This is where we want to continue growing up and where our children and generations to come will hopefully be able to share. Mission Hill is our home. Hace ya 35 años que yo vivo en, en Mission Hill, en el área de Alice Taylor, y este, el cambio de antes al cambio de ahora es impresionante. En el tiempo de antes no teníamos ninguna de las instituciones que tenemos en el área. As years went on, like you said, it started to change, and people told me, oh, they've done it for the better. Like the universities have come in. The, first of all, the, the, I, I feel that it was, it seemed to me, people who graduated from the colleges must have known they were going to over enroll, and they started to buy up everything, every bit of property that was ever going to come on the market. And when they did that, they started raising all of the prices, and everybody started to leave. In the years of 2010 and 2012, the price of housing went up 300,000 and 
because the price was like so high, people, regular middle class people couldn't afford to live there. And so they had to move out to other locations. There's a lot more college students in the area than it was. And it makes it like it's just so crowded in here. So any little bit of noise that's made outside, it feels like it's inside your house. They're coming down my street at three or four o'clock in the morning yelling in groups of 10 to 20 and waking me up from my sleep. And I think that if they want to live in our community, they need to follow rules as we do. A college student can get away with almost anything. A college student can have a party. No cops will stop their party. Why? Because they're in college. They get an education. Now, if one of the residents that is not in college throw a party to celebrate a life, like a baby shower or a birthday party, a cop, the cops will be called and like it's an issue. So I just don't want the whole segregation like, oh, they could party because they got a college education. You can't because you didn't make it that far. A couple of weeks ago, a guy threw a pro painting at a, at a police officer and what he went to jail for a night. If I throw a pro painting, a pro painting at a police officer, I'm going to I'm gonna get in very big trouble, probably get a case, even go to court. Sí, hay una preferencia de, de estudiantes al vecindario donde estamos viviendo por la razón de que tú tienes que mirar este, en este caso lo que habla es el dinero. ¿Tú me entiendes? Si estas personas de verdad que son de gente rica, los estudiantes que pueden pagar tanto dinero, pues tienen la preferencia por eso nada más. Nosotros somos pobres, pues nos dejan atrás. I wouldn't say that other races get treated better in our community. I don't, I don't think that, but I feel the college students get treated better. And if they're counting now, which I, they should be because they live in the community, yes, I do feel that they get treated better. So I don't think that the neighbors uh, really like the students very much because they're, they're disrespectful and, and loud on the weekends. I just feel the respect is not there when it comes to the college students because I don't feel the institutions are telling them, you know, or they may give them, they, no, they give them the basics and let you know what's expected in the institute and things like that. But as far as off campus, there should be more rules. When the college students are adding trash to the community and causing lots of noise, the residents are the only ones keeping the community clean and trying to make it a well-maintained place. Necesitamos el oído también. Este, pues nosotros necesitamos que alguna persona esté involucrada para nosotros, para tratar de que no pase eso, de meter otras personas, otros estudiantes o de las instituciones alrededor. Para evitar este, esos aumentos de renta. I think that they need to get more involved with all of these students in the community because there's just so many children that I know they have the rule called no child left behind, but a lot of children are left behind as far as employment and having some type of mentor or leadership out here. I see a lot of them that are left behind and I just don't think that it should be like that. Not with all these institutions around here. Mission Hill and its numerous institutions have to learn to live like a family, supporting each other and strengthening their relationship. As a family cannot thrive without all of its members being present and contributing, Mission Hill tries to work with all of its members, from permanent residents to institutions, to make the community better. Unfortunately, it feels like our institutional family members don't want to perform their duties, including supporting and maintaining the community. Why should the families and permanent residents carry the burden, while others, including large and capable institutions, treat it with disrespect? It's time that we, the families and youth of Mission Hill, come together and fight for the future and health of our community. Our institutional members need to understand that prioritizing housing for their own students, creating and enforcing effective policies that monitor the students, as well as making information about their community benefits, such as college and workforce development programs more accessible to residents, is the only way this community relationship will work. 
We cannot improve as a community if we are not all pulling our weight. We are only as strong as our weakest link. The future of Mission Hill is in our hands. hands.